all the smoke. You know how Nikki was upset when Beyonce revealed the details of her upcoming country album, Renaissance Act 2? Nikki appears to be certain that Beyonce is attempting to usurp her talent by fans of Nikki are certain that she is high due to her recent behavior, and they are pleading with her to get assistance and go into rehab. Nikki recently made headlines with the release of her album and an audio clip in which she clowned and accused Beyonce of being shady. Renaissance Act is the latest album that Beyonce just revealed. She smashed the internet once more in a Verizon commercial, for which she was reportedly paid $30 million double dear during Super Bowl X of VI a few days ago. She did it in the most amazing ways. Verizon's 5G network is incredibly powerful. I challenge you to break that bet as much as I can. Is arriving very quickly. What? Beyonce breaks the internet, but is she really capable of breaking it? It is not even almost time for a surprise. I'm running for Beyonce in the US. Can you hear me now, Breaky? Oh no, did I break it? You broke me. Let me introduce you to Beyonce. What the heck, Barb? Introducing Beyonce. Beyonce not only secured the bag, but also spread the news about her next album. Wow. Veron didn't break you. You ain't going to break me. Still works okay. To launch the first rocket for the first performance before she released the album, fans had already begun to speculate about it. When her ad aired, she instantly became trending on social media and overshadowed everything about the Super Bowl, including Usher's incredible halftime performance and the Super Bowl itself. You all know that the woman attended the Grammys dressed in country wear and dropped two songs, Texas Hold'em and Sixteen Carriages. While Nicki Minaj feels that Beyonce went out of her way to steal her spotlight, Beehive doesn't play around with Beyonce, which had the entire internet in stitches. It turns out that Usher may not be the only one who had the spotlight stolen from him. Nikki has been aggressively marketing her next tour. I have no doubt that the tour will be incredibly successful, because it is scheduled to begin in a few weeks and the Barbs have one of the largest fan groups in the business. However, there are rumors circulating that Nikki is upset that Beyonce revealed her album right before Nikki's tour began. Since it has exacerbated their already tense relationship since she believes it will divert attention from her own tour. Fans initially noticed Nikki acting shady, but it's strange that she's been disparaging Beyonce for a short while now. Before, the two of them were friendly and even collaborated on a song. Beyonce declared that Big B stands for bands following the release of the Savage remix by her and Megan. Here's your chance to witness some actual ass babies if you've been wanting to. Nikki and Doa Cat released their single Say So a week later. In Nikki's lyrics, she asks, Why are you talking about who body fakes with all of them? Facial fillers, the word silly, became more oblique when a number of sources stated that Nikki had abruptly chosen to alter her verse at the last minute after the release of the Savage remix. But that wasn't the last time that Nikki named pulled Beyonce because, according to Nikki, in the song Press Play, they questioned why Beyonce couldn't succeed since her father wasn't a businessman. That was a long time ago, but Nikki's hatred toward Beyonce hasn't diminished. Instead, it has just gotten stronger because she is now at odds with Beyonce's husband. Mama wasn't a business owner, and what a fool. Following her altercation with Megan the Stallion a few weeks prior, Jay-Z and his management company Rock Nation were accused by her of funding a hate campaign against her, complete with paid-for tweets and TikToks that went so far as to get people to pay $250 for the privilege of tweeting something negative about Nicki Minaj. And then the following day, I was like, yeah, whatever, I'm G and I'm listening to books, so I don't know why anybody of that. And I wasn't talking about any single rapper. Instead, I was referring to a firm or companies. An advertisement from Rock Nation advertising Megan's song was shared by Nikki. Claimed to be a broke independent artist, yet spent a lot of money. The world knows Desiree is a badass, and that she can't stop trying to make things work out. She recently released a song without any promotion or video, and it has already reached number two. This has people talking about how Nikki's true problems were with a member of the Barbs posted this picture of Nikki and Rose on Twitter, while Beyonce was trending, but she wasn't brave enough to confront Jay-Z and Beyonce. Instead, so she has been skirting the issues and beating around the bush. It's time, she's doing the same thing with the Super Bowl announcement. A B, she's that B, Nikki responded, oh, they know. Fans felt that Nikki was being discourteous to Beyonce, but as if that wasn't awful enough, she went on Clubhouse and began speaking in an overly dramatic country accent, which came across as mocking. All right, so I'm going to play this one more song. Oh, dear. I was unaware on December 8th that Ona had stated that was okay. Oa is still aware of this, even though the song may not be a hit at the moment. Her retweeting of that dubious tweet, followed by her mocking country tone of voice, 
came at a time when Beyonce was making waves for releasing a country album. Be innocent. But there's more because fans are starting to worry about Nicki because of her recent antics, which started to become concerning when Megan released her song a few weeks ago. Nicki attacked Megan on social media for days, going live and generally acting very messy, even though Megan didn't tell her so. If we're being honest, the line about Megan's law might apply to about half of the people in the industry, but Nikki took it personally and ran with it. She spent days berating on social media, criticizing Megan Rock Nation, Megan's late mother, and anybody else she could think of, saying that everything was so horrible that after her tirade against Beyonce, people are starting to question whether she was using drugs or something else. This is because it's difficult to follow what she was talking about on Station Head. All we could hear was her mocking accent. Nevertheless, fans are starting to question if she's still high, arguing that it's ridiculous that Nikki should concentrate on her legacy, let her husband return to treatment, and hire a management team to help her rebuild her reputation because she's acting like Foxy. After talking about it and heading to the station, Nicki Minaj needs therapy and rehab. Make fun of Beyonce. Watch this next video and let me know how you feel about your tour, which is commencing in two weeks without any openers, dancers, or rehearsals. Just Coca-Cola. Even though that was a long time ago, Nikki's animosity toward Beyonce hasn't lessened. On the contrary, it has only become greater as a result of her current disagreement with Beyonce's husband. M. Mama wasn't a company owner. Who the fool is? After she had a fight with Megan the Horse a few weeks earlier, she claimed Jay-Z and his management business Rock Nation of financing a hate campaign against her, which included paid tweets and TikToks that even charged $250 for the right to tweet saying something bad about Nicki Minaj. And then the next day, I was like, yeah, whatever, I'm G and I'm listening to Book, so I don't know why anybody of that. At that point, I wasn't talking about any particular rapper. Rather, I was referring to a company or several companies. Nicki published a Rock Nation advertisement for Megan's song, claiming to be a broke independent musician while spending a lot of money. Everyone is aware of Desiree's fierce nature and her unwavering will to make things work out. Without any advertising or music video, she recently published a single that has already peaked at number two. People are discussing how Nikki's real issues were with while Beyonce was trending. A member of the Barbs tweeted this photo of Nikki and Rose on Twitter. However, she lacked the courage to face Jay-Z and Beyonce, so she has been avoiding the problems and talking about unimportant details instead. She's doing the same thing with the Super Bowl announcement this time around. A B, that B, Nikki answered. Oh, they know. As if Nikki's disrespectful behavior toward Beyonce wasn't bad enough, her excessively exaggerated country accent that came off as mocking was evident when she appeared on Clubhouse. I will now play this song one more time. Oh my, I didn't know that Ona had said that was okay on December 8th. Even if the song may not be a hit right now, Oa is still aware of this. Beyonce was making headlines for her release of a country album at the time. She retweeted that questionable message and then mocked the sound of a country song. Pretend to be innocent. But there's more since Nikki's recent activities have people worried about her. Things started to become serious when Megan published her song a few weeks ago. Even though Megan didn't inform Nikki, she harassed Megan on social media for days, going live and becoming clumsy in general. To be honest, the statement on Megan's law could be applicable to approximately 50 of those in the industry. However, Nikki interpreted it as personal and exploited it. After her outburst against Beyonce, people are beginning to wonder if she was using drugs or something else. She spent days berating Megan Rock Nation, Megan's late mother, and everybody else she could think of on social media, stating that everything was so bad. This is due to the fact that her remarks on Station Head were hard to understand. All we could hear was her derisive accent. Fans are beginning to wonder, though, if she's still high. Claiming that Nikki's actions are ludicrous and that she should focus on her legacy, allow her husband to resume therapy, and enlist the aid of a management team to assist her in repairing her reputation. After discussing it and going to the station, Nicki Minaj need counseling and inpatient treatment. Laugh at Beyonce. After watching this next film, I'd like to know how you feel about your upcoming tour, which has Coca-Cola instead of openers, dancers, or rehearsals. It starts in two weeks.